Hello YouTube, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're back here today on the Time Attack Challenge. This is car number 14. This is a Porsche Taycan Turbo S 2019. In this series we've been taking 700 PP tuned road cars and thrashing them around Road Atlanta to see which is the quickest. So here's my tune for this car. This is the first EV that I've run on this series. There's not a huge amount you can do with it to be honest, it's mainly all steering and suspension geometry and amazingly I've added even more weight to it just to get it down to the 700. So here we have the leaderboard as it stands at the minute, as you can see it's super close at the top. The last car we ran, the Audi R8, was just two thousandth of a second away from getting the fastest time. Very competitive at the minute. So let's get on to the lap. Now I'm going to start with addressing the elephant in the room quite literally. You'll probably think the same as I did, this is just going to be a big heavy useless barge. And yes it is heavy, very heavy. Uh, I did look it up, uh, let me just find my paperwork. Yeah this weighs 253 tonne. That's uh, on the internet so that's a fact. But in all seriousness, it is a very heavy car, but it, the, the handling really surprised me. It's, it's really, really good. You can throw it about. It's almost nimble, amazingly, for such a big car, such a big heavy car. Um, the 800 horsepower is pretty much instantaneous as well with it being EV. Now, it has got a bit of an issue around one of the corners but I'll talk about that in a bit on the on the onboards. For the time being I'll let you listen to the glorious EV whining noise. You see how heavy it is by the bottoming out everywhere. But the um the star of the show on this car, the brakes are absolutely phenomenal. It's so good, they need to be with how heavy it is. So here's the onboard. Obviously with it being EV, there's no gears, it's just... It's weird to drive. Um, I was constantly going for changing gears. So this first corner turns in quite nice. You can get on the power really early. Like I say, the brakes are absolutely stupendous on this thing. Here load of weight, a lot of weight to transfer so it it's actually helps it out around there. Uh, it turns in quite well here as well and the, like I say the acceleration is just pretty much instantaneous. Now we're coming up to the corner where it was having lots of problems, not this right hander but the next one, the slowest one onto the onto this straight. It was doing some, if you look at my throttle input there, I was braking and accelerating at the same time. If you let off the accelerator like you would in a petrol car it, I don't know if it was like the, the the hybrid regenerating through the brakes, but it just locked the back end up. I couldn't do anything about it, so the only way I found to do it was just to keep the throttle and the brake at the same time. Not the quickest down the straight, 165, but uh, like I say, it's so nimble and surprising for such a big thing. And then uh, coming to the end of the lap, and it surprised me, I've got to say, <laughs> it's a quick lap. So here we go for the leaderboard, and it did a 118.835, amazingly. That's put it in fourth between the Subaru and the Alpine. Even closer at the top now. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe would be much appreciated. All the cars on the leaderboard of on my channel in the playlist. I'll see you soon. Cheers for watching.